Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read from the book of Hebrews chapter 13 to start off uh, this evening. Uh, so I'll let you find your place. Uh, but before I do, I'm gonna ask Brother Scotty if he would to come and, and kind of fill in a little bit more to you, so you can get a, a clearer picture of of what happened with these crosses, uh, because they'll become a part of our sermon uh, this evening. And before I do that, so I don't forget, it is so good to look around and see uh, our young people back in service with us again this evening and some of the staff. I know you're tired. It's been a long week, uh, but you push through. Uh, so we're in the Lord's house. And uh, so let's let's come together and worship. Brother Scott, if you would. Uh, Brother Scott, he's a good friend. Yeah. Good day. I'm thankful he's with us. Yeah, Thank God. God. Well, a little bit more about uh, what Mike touched on. Um, these kids this week were part of the race, and they had to do different obstacles throughout the race. Um, and the crosses were the last thing they had to do. And each man down that you see is a different team. So there was seven, eight, nine kids on the team. What they had to do is they had to take, and they had to build those crosses. Now, they were already notched out for them, but they had to hammer the nails in to put them together. And we were down in a valley where they had to put them together. And when they built the crosses, they had to take it up a hill. Pretty steep angle. Um, and I got there at the end after they all built the cross, they went up the hill and I got around. All the kids were hanging on to that cross, lifting it up in the air, straight up a hill that I know I didn't want any part of that hill. It was steep. And to see them work together, to put it on their shoulders, and to get to the very end, they had to take and put them in these center blocks standing up here. And that night, or after that happened, that was one of the biggest blessings that has been out there. Besides the kids getting saved out there, that there, the, the, the sign, or the showing of what Jesus did, that he carried that cross up a hill. He didn't have to, he endured a lot more than what those kids did. But to see the kids put them in the cross and erect them up, it was something, I, I, don't, I don't know what to explain. It was just an overwhelming of joy and just amazement. You know, and we all talked about it and it, it just doesn't cease to amaze what these kids do. And for them to do that, it's, it's a huge blessing for me because we had no idea when we put this game together that we everybody would get a blessing like they did all this. It, we went from a valley to the top of the hill, and they were wore out, physically exhausted. Some couldn't hardly go anymore. But they stood there at their team, unified at the end, and put them up. Whether it was first, second, third, or fourth, they finished it because they wanted to finish it. And they did it, not for, they did it for what they thought was doing for points, but they finished it because they knew Jesus did it and they wanted to, they didn't want to be any less. They wanted to be Christ-like. They wanted to put those crosses up as a team to glorify God. And after they got done with it, you could just feel it. And so them carrying them in here this morning has more, had a lot more significance than what you thought of because it because for the ones that was out there, to see him carry him again, yeah. it, it meant a lot. And I just want to thank you all for the support you had for him. Yeah. So, thank you.